You know, Swatch is just a beautiful small community. When I came here, I just fell in love with it, the area. But also our county is uh, one of the highest poverty areas in the entire state. So job situations are pretty tough. Two years ago, we were asked to get together to find out what was good, what was bad, and if we could change one thing, what that thing would be in our community. And collected a ton of data, did hundreds of interviews, and ever since then we have been developing a plan to tackle these issues. We started with the entrepreneurship camp and then we decided to put that into the, into the school curriculum. So now there's an entrepreneurship class within the school. We've learned in our entrepreneur class about how to budget your money. I never really knew about profit before and how to take care of money or manage it. How stressful it can be to start your own business and to get going. And, but it also showed me that throughout all of it, it can still have a great outcome. We are doing a career fair. We are going to have 31 businesses come into the school, and we're hoping that we kind of just open the door for these kids to get a feel of what all these businesses are, what they do, what skills they need. This is the first time we've ever done something like this in our school, so it's very exciting. I've definitely found this career fair very helpful because not everybody knows what they want to do in the future. It gave me more understanding of what else is out here in the valley and everything that I could potentially do out here. Then we're gonna be having career cabs where we're taking seven students out to different businesses. And we're just taking them out there so they can get a feel of what the environment is. And next year we're working on getting internships into the school. We heard from the community that the Hispanic population had been disengaged for several reasons, some due to historic oppression, some due to discrimination, and feeling like they were just left out. I have seen a lack of community engagement because I kind of felt like I was like that too. Um, I didn't really get involved in a lot of things. Um, I really didn't know what was going on in the community. That was part of the reason why we decided to work on disengagement. So building the leadership within our community so that people can get involved and become engaged in activities in our community as well as making changes through boards and government entities in our community. We decided to host a Cinco de Mayo, a celebration in the community. And to start getting people out of their homes and just into the street and visiting with one another. And we brought in car show and culturally relevant events and activities. And we wanted to make sure that we celebrate those families and celebrate their culture and their activities. Now that I'm working with Heart and I see what they're doing and we're getting out there and making contact with different community people and trying to get them involved and, and building that partnership with us, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of difference. The Family Leadership Training Institute, it's a 20-week course. The first 10 weeks are focused on finding the leader inside of you and the second 10 weeks gives them the opportunity to explore the civic engagement piece and to become a civic leader in our community. My training in the FLTI leadership skills have taught me that I have the capability to change policy, um, implement programs that do matter to, to people from my minority population. You know, Before, I didn't think I could sit at the table with certain people. I didn't think that my ideas were any good because I didn't have a degree in psychology or mental emotional behavioral you know fields for this class to show me 
and teach me that I'm just as credible and I'm just as much as a leader and I can have just as much as an impact. The reason why I do this is for my kids and for my family to teach my own children that whether you're new to a community or you've been there your whole life, you should always give back to your community. I'm really excited about this partnership with uh, Hardest to Watch because it gives our kids who are going to be adults and be within our community, let's give them the opportunity to do great things for this community, uh, for themselves and our community.